the three things of what we do with a vision. We turn the ground over. We pioneer. We sow the seed. And then we need to get ready by building a barn. Lauren, do you want to come tell a story? Yeah, so um, three weeks ago, um, me and Luke get here on a Sunday, half past two. We normally arrive to set up, sweep up. And um, I was, well, we both stood on the car park. And this particular week, Luke said, you stay on the car park, wait for the worship guys to arrive. And I'll go upstairs and start sweeping the room. So Luke didn't want to get his hair wet, but he was quite happy for me to stay on the car park and get my hair wet. In the so, dark. In the dark. <laughs> there wasn't it hard to. So uh, that I did. And then because it was raining, I thought, well, I'm going to sit in the car because, uh, you know, it's going to be another 20 minutes till the guys arrive. So I'll wait in the car. And I thought, no, I'm just going to stand here. So I stood there for five minutes. And a beautiful car drove onto the car park, <coughs> put his window down. And he said, is there a church here? I said, yes, there is, but we start at five o'clock. You're very welcome to come back. And he said, well, what kind of a church is it? So I say, oh, you know, start selling ourselves. We see healing, we see deliverance, we see the prophetic. Like going into all this spiritual jargon, he said, I'm not a Christian. I thought, oh, well, well, you know, we're just a church and we believe in Jesus. Start at the basics. And he said, uh, well, I said, you're welcome to come upstairs and take a look. So he came up, Luke's sweeping as he does. If you come at half two, you're very welcome. You can help Luke sleep, uh, sweep up. So he's chatting with us and he said, um, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I feel like I, I need to talk to you about something we need to meet this week. Um, so that week we met him. I think it was the day after we went to meet him. Then we met him again that week. And uh, yeah, I think that's been a breakthrough moment for us. So it's, Things are accelerating very well. They've accelerated very quickly since that's happened. Uh, so, yeah, we're really excited to share with you what it is. Yeah, so the story's not yet done. We just want to show you the outcome of what this guy wanted to speak about. Thank you. got a home. Yay. Wow. Uh, Lauren, come tell the story. You said this morning, when you tell, when you do the build up, don't give detail. And I'm thinking, oh, how do I tell the story? Um, yeah, so you did pull onto the car park, that bit is true. And as I was telling you about the church, and he said, I don't know why I'm doing this, but 
I'm a businessman, I've got a lot of buildings and I really feel led to give a church a building. And I was like, all oh, right, okay. And we've been praying for a building, as you know. Me and my boys have been praying every single night for a building since we launched because this is hard work, believe it or not, setting up and putting down every week. And um, he said, it will be, we really wanted Hanley, but we would have taken anywhere the Lord would have given us, would have been fine. But we, our heart was for Hanley, it's central, and we believe that we're a city church and, and beyond, and not just a, a localised church. So um, so I said, well, where's your building? He says, it's in Hanley. I said, are you Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, but it's so bizarre. I think that building, you most, most people know it's iconic. Every workman that's come in the last week has said, I've got some memories in here. I said, I have two. Mostly asleep on the floor or falling down the stairs, but God redeemed me. And um, yeah, it's just happened so quickly. So on the Thursday before um, he came on the Sunday, I was sat in a salt box in Hanley doing interviews. And from the window where I was, I looked out across and I saw the roof of the telephone exchange building. And I said, God, what are you doing with that building? It's so beautiful. Like, what's happening with it? It's empty. And then by the Sunday, the owner just comes and gives it to us more or less, hasn't he? Um, yeah, and then a few few months ago as well, Luke said, uh, I think there was a few of us there, we said, we won't have to go looking for a building. Someone will come and give us one. So we, we knew we were looking for a building, but we weren't trolling right move. We weren't, we weren't actively <coughs> looking for anything. Uh, and we just had such faith that someone would just turn up out of the blue and just give us a building. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's give the, give the Lord glory. Wow. 